Hello Aquarians and Crosswatchers, welcome to your uh, reading. It's uh, For me it's the afternoon, so I'm going to do like a little afternoon quickie reading. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I've already said my prayers. I want to be the first to let you know, to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank you all for being here um, and sharing your time and your energy with me. So, I'm going to open up with the Wisdom of the Oracle once I get done with my Tarot Tetris. And then I'm going to close out with an Archangel Michael card. I'm going to use uh, two Tarot decks, one to clarify. I'm going to do a nine card spread and we're going to see what wants to come out. So let's get into it. Show me what I need to see for this reading today. Show me what I need to see. I hope you guys are having a great, great day, whether you're having it uh, daytime, morning, whenever you're watching this, evening time. Let's see what wants to come out. All right. We have Unfinished Symphony. Unfinished Symphony. So it's interesting because the card on there is 10, which in tarot is endings. But there's something might be finishing up because there's something that is not, um, it's not over. There's something here that's not over. It could be uh, some sort of chapter in your book, okay? A chapter in your book of life. There's something that maybe um, needs to be revisited, okay? It's not finished. It's not over. So, maybe some things are ending. So that whatever is not completed all right finished whatever needs to be done here can happen so i'm going to do a nine card spread see what wants to come out well i see sensor reward and synergy so those are nice woman with wands is the queen of wands so be careful there's that black cat there okay i did I did put out the weekly reading, all right, from the 22nd to the 28th. So this is that, um, this might be warning of that. If you didn't see that, I will try to link that video at the end screen. Change. All right, so there might be some literal change coming in, all right? Some literal change that might be coming in here, um, and it might be moving away from from a particular uh situation maybe even a person that woman of wands is queen of wands it's fire energy so i have fire i have earth i have swords all right and i have cups i have everything here two more cards and then i'll clarify i see interesting do you guys want to come out wow guess we're having a few more cards we're ending off with the empress so tarot does what it wants doesn't it it does what it wants to do all right let me take a quick little look all right so there is a new beginning okay yes <laughs> you're attracting something all right and there's something that's not over maybe there was something that you wanted to do maybe you thought it wouldn't happen i don't know we're going to clarify like i said but you have some change coming in um and especially if you thought life has just sort of been humdrum boring or whatever there's something coming in we have the three of wands that's the future all right we have the seven of crystals um that is dullness in this deck but the seven of crystals is like the seven of swords and we have the seven of cups that's some sort of um you know the seven of cups can be like you know you are manifesting something i know we think about the magician that way but this is like dreaming daydreaming you know what have you been what's been occupying your mind it can even talk about choices but whatever there's a choice there's change. Um, don't fear the change. Use your mind here. Okay, we have logic. So let's get into it. Tell me about censor. Tell me about this woman of wands. Tell me about this woman of wands, which is technically queen of wands. And then we have the ten of pentacles. 
and we are ending off with the empress so you are definitely definitely attracting a lot of abundance okay this is a lot of abundance here that you're attracting especially we have the ten of pentacles all right the six of pentacles ten of worlds six of worlds there's something that you i believe that you um maybe used to dream about or fantasize about a lot maybe you thought it was always going to come you're waiting for it and then you know things just kind of flattened out or plateaued and just maybe it was just something just like mm, maybe it's not going to happen but end card here which is the ninth card is new beginning because you attracted it with this empress energy success okay the last three cards are the fool victory and empress and you might have attracted a new person okay we have the lovers here we have the nine of pentacles tell me about the woman of wands there is a card that flipped up here don't know if it was meant to be because there's a couple of them but just so you know i did see the four of wands and i saw aquarius tell me about the first card and that is 11 11 card you might be seeing that okay we have woman of wands on the bottom of the deck and it's in the reverse so i feel there's some sort of karmic energy you're about ready to end with we have here the 10 of the 10 on here and then you're aligning with his 10 of cups we have a two of swords it's a it's a it's a decision that it's going to require you to be balanced in how you think right don't don't um don't have a fight in your mind about this it's going to require a lot of balancing um in your thoughts and even an even mind here we have the eight of swords and the full card reverse so there is um it does look like there's some sort of karmic energy that's leaving and that can be a person place or thing it doesn't always have to be a person um and it does require a lot of thought on your part okay especially if you felt like there were no choices you were kind of stuck somewhere i that's that's diff, that's changing you're going to have a choice here do you want to go forward with this um if you don't want to go forward with this tell me about the ten of worlds but there's a lot of abundance here yeah this new direction there's a lot more there's a lot more money if there if there's money involved there's just a lot more you know we're going from the five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles that's like going from you know rags to riches that's like going from um living very frugal to having the money that you need to get what you want okay it's not have needing to choose this or that it doesn't mean you know it doesn't it always mean riches but it means that you're going to go from lack you know where you literally do i choose uh food or medication do i choose um you know uniforms for my kids and back you know back to school supplies or you know do we take this vacation um you know it's just not needing to choose it's like there's money for all of it you know there's money for all of it tell me about the six of worlds this one to flip up and it went down because it's a choice queen of pentacles queen of pentacles is very stable she's got or he's got you know abundance to take care of himself and to take care of others this six of worlds is a generous most likely it's a generous offer coming toward you because you know it wanted to go this way but it went this way and landed on the eight of worlds because it may be something to do with um work that's the eight of pentacles but it's focus whatever if you want to focus on this new opportunity this new offer this new beginning there is abundance here for you there is abundance here for you and somebody might literally be writing out some sort of contract okay here but there's a lot of love with that because of what i saw be behind that tell me about the four crystals nine of swords i'm telling you <laughs> you're going to be spending some time alone thinking about this okay this is going to have you up this is going to be like do i take this do i do this 
but it's a wish fulfillment but it does look like um you know there's action required on your part and you know there's action required and possibly a contract on your part tell me about the eight of worlds even though i know yeah <laughs> you know we have a four of cups and we have a nine of swords this is a lot of thought over whatever this is that's coming in. Okay, it's a lot, a lot of thought. But you know, with the with the bottom being surrender, just surrender. Okay, just surrender to the fear. Surrender because I see fear with, you know, change. Surrender to that. Um, I feel this is coming in because it's meant for you. Tell me about the seven of cups, eight of cups here in the reverse there's going to be an option um in this case in this case you have an option to stay where you're at or to move forward to stay where you're at you're not going to have as much abundance okay you might still need to choose this or that but if you move forward you're going to have a lot more um Thing, uh, I want to say availability, resources, resources. You're going to have a lot more resources to do what you want to do. If it's not money, it's resources. But you're going to have more options to do what you want to do, okay, for sure. Because going from the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, being a choice, and that choice depends on whether you stay in lack or not, okay? It's very much about money. Tell me about Three of Wands, but if it isn't about money, money's not everything, it's about resources, you'll have you know you have a lot more resources tell me about the three of wands six of pentacles again you have six of pentacles twice there's there's a there's there's a generous offer coming in okay there's a generous offer coming in um you don't know about it the emperor is in the reverse you don't know about you and this person joining forces here okay Maybe you even thought it was an avenue or a path that was cut off from you. Tell me about the Seven of Crystals. Maybe you thought someone else had the opportunity. Six of Wands, reverse. You see, you didn't think that this was possible at some point. Okay, you didn't think it was possible. And that's why this isn't finished. Because now the possibility is here. You didn't think there was an avenue this way. Now there's an avenue and it's success. Brand new beginning, success and empress. Full. Oh my God, yes. Take it. Take this opportunity because if not, you're going to stay in lack. You're going to stay making choices of do I choose this or that versus choosing I can do it all. Like I can do it all. I have I have the ability to do it all here. Tell me about the six of wands. Victory. Ten of wands. You might be signing a contract and moving. And this is trust. It says trust. You might be signing a contract and moving. Quite literally, it's justice and the ten of wands. It puts you in Empress, okay, Empress mode. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's coming. Three of Wands and the Moon. You don't know that it's coming. It could be an offer from, you know, I have all the signs here. So it could be an offer from any of the signs. I have Air, Fire, um, earth and water okay because i saw also the queen of cups want to come out i have every sign here all right there's something coming in and it's going to take you out of lack you don't know it you don't see it but it's something that you wanted it was something that you felt was not available to you okay anymore and then it becomes it's available that's there's strong um strong money with this strong job boss Okay, and it looks good. Possible contract and move. Let's close out. I hope you enjoyed the reading. It's a, it's a really good reading. <laughs> it says, your vibration is rising. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. So that means when your frequency rises, your circumstances change. That means you move to a better location. That means the people 
and your circle become more high vibrational, um, your job can change. Like everything, when you move up, you move up. Anyway, guys, I love you. I'll see you in the next reading, and namaste, my friends.